Hello, I'm Alan Foom, and today I'm going to talk about how to deal with a career break when talking to an interviewer, when talking to a recruiter, or just generally describing that. So, minding the gap. If you've ever been on the London Underground, uh, you'd know what I'm talking about. So, some people got concerns about career gaps. Many people taking time off for various reasons, professional, personal, family, whatever. But there's a gap on your CV between jobs or you're currently between jobs itself. And recruiters look for gaps in CVs because that's what they're trained to do and they kind of need an explanation. So some people see gaps as a risk. Oh, have they been in jail? And hiring managers need reassurance. So what are the concerns? Capability, compatibility, commitment, flexibility. Now what else might they be hiding? Now, um, most people are pretty open, and you should be open about what, what, what happened. Stuff happens. Life happens. But you have to explain what happened. So how do we deal with this situation? Keep calm and mind the gap. Need an explanation. Why the gap? Could be family, could be personal health, parenthood, care for a relative, personal illness, whatever. Or it could be work. You could be in a difficult market where... It's taken time to find a job for the simple reason that uh, your particular industry is in a difficult time. Or whatever other reasons there may be. But they would need an explanation. So the first thing you need to do is project confidence. Show that you're confident and job ready. If you've been in a situation where you've been unwell, you're now better. You're enthusiastic about returning. You really want to come back. And don't be apologetic or timid. Now, you may be feeling very doubtful inside. You may be feeling a little bit scared. Um, a colleague of mine, a fellow coach called Pat, Hart, uh, Pat Hartwell, said that you know everyone has butterflies, but the skill is to get them to fly in formation. So calmly explain the situation of where you are. And do not be over-defensive. Now, again, some people take challenges with some difficulty, but what the interviewer is looking for is reassurance. The fact that they're interviewing you at all despite the gap, shows that the gap is not a showstopper. If it was a showstopper, you wouldn't be there. Now, there's some people for whom it is a showstopper. Well, I'm afraid that they're loss. But you need to calmly explain the situation. So, keeping up with technology and ideas in your industry. Joining professional societies, training courses that you've been on, keeping up with the trade press, the online world, networking, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. And show that you're in touch with developments. Okay, you've been out but you've been active. Now, awareness and acceptance of gaps is rising. Uh, there used to be a situation where people would join a firm at the age of 21 or 18 and stay there till they got the gold-plated clock and a gold-plated pension. Life ain't like that anymore. More people are working parents who so may take career breaks to look after children. People have relatives that live longer. You know, their parents live longer. They need to look after them. There may be more contract roles, employment roles uh, that are short-term which will inevitably have gaps. And recessions happen, industries change. So you may need to change with it. But some people still have prejudice, and some people prefer people who are currently in work. Um, not much you can do about that. But having said that, if you are available, the fact that you can start on Monday, rather than having somebody who is uh, currently at a company where they are happy, and you have to prize them away from that. They may have counter offers, the person who's currently in, in a situation, and they may just be fishing around, seeing whether they can get something better. Whereas yourself, who's currently looking for a job, is actively looking for something, so they actually really want to be there. They're qualified, they're interested, they're available. Demonstrate your commitment. Demonstrate the skills that you've learned to your time away. Voluntary work that you may have done, particularly if it's in a slightly different field. Emphasize your personal growth and emphasize change. That you have used the time that you've been out to learn other things, to grow and develop from where you've been, to get past the prejudice. Show that you're teachable. Now, a prejudice could be against particularly mature people. Is this person thinks they know everything, particularly if they've come from a prestigious company, if they've been to a prestigious university. But demonstrate what you've learned during the time away. Demonstrate that you're still having achievements in firm of training, that this chronologically gifted canine can learn new tricks 
and show that you can work for and with younger people. Again, getting past the prejudice. And be honest. There are many reasons for a current spell of unemployment. Calmly explain the situation. Show things in a fair but positive light. And never badmouth anyone. Even if it was the beep's fault. Never ever badmouth anyone. Show that you've understood any mistakes that you've made and that you will make different errors next time. Reassuring the hiring manager. Stay positive. Long-term job search will feel frustrating, but defensiveness is not seen as attractive and project a positive outlook, even though it's not always easy. We all have good days, we all have bad days. Again, reassuring the hiring manager. Practice answering the gap question, particularly if it's become a big hang-up. Talk to a trusted friend, check your answers with them, take their feedback and see how you come across. Project the positive outlook, even if it's not always easy. Calm yourself in order to calm others. To answer a difficult question, first anticipate them. That gives you a little bit of time so you know it's coming. Clarify and paraphrase the question. Gives you more time. Make sure you, un you fully understand what is being asked and you have a little buffer to think. Then you answer the question. Brief, clear, confident. If you've made a mistake, show that you understand this. Everybody makes mistakes. Some people learn from them. Some people know what they've done. And then give the top spin, the additional benefits you can bring to the organization. Yes, I've made a mistake here, but this is what I will do next time. And this is what I've learned about the situation. So mind the gap. Be confident and calm. Do not be defensive. Keep up with technology and industry. Show that you're active. Show that you know. Some people might be flexible towards gaps. Some people are still prejudiced. Just the way it is. Demonstrate your commitment. Demonstrate you want to be here. You want to work. You want to deliver. You want to be a part of things. Be teachable. Be flexible. The mature, chronologically gifted canine can learn new tricks. Be honest to gain trust. Stay positive, practice the answers, and stay calm. And remember, the fact that they're interviewing you shows that the gap is not a showstopper. But they need reassurance. They need to, to see that you have learnt your lessons, you've learnt from things around that, you can come and deliver and be a good, positive, productive employee. Thank you very much.